Good evening, everybody. It's March 10th, and today I wanted to share something very special with you. Recently, I posted a video on how to hand pollinate an avocado, and I explained that sometimes there is something called flower overlap, where both male and female flowers can occur at the same time on a type A or type B avocado. And this right here is my type A lila avocado. I'm going to link to the video above which discusses the science behind all of that. Uh, we had a couple of days in the 70s, and like clockwork, I'm starting to see some male and female flower overlap, and I just had to show you this. It's really hard to zoom in, and I'm using a macro filter right now. So this right here is a clear example of a male avocado flower. Inside that avocado flower, you can see a series of hairs. Um, there's three or more hairs inside of that flower and those are called stamens and those stamens are what produces the male pollen so if I take a simple blush brush and I touch the stamens of that flower I'm going to collect a small quantity of male pollen and if you look at my blush brush you can see that there is a little bit of male pollen collected on the hairs of this brush right next to it I notice there's also a female flower and this is very hard to see, but the female flower almost looks like it has a vase shape to it. If you can see that right there, and I apologize if it's not totally clear, it almost looks like a vase sticking up from the, uh, from the center of the flower. That is the female flower that accepts the pollen. So I'm going to take my, my brush full of male pollen, and I'm simply going to gently touch the top of that. That, that female pistol right there, and that is going to accept the pollen from the male flower. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, a few 70 degree days and you start to see the flower overlap occur on this lila avocado. And I just wanted to document this for you and show you that this is a real thing, that you can have both male and female flowers on an avocado at the same time. When you see the male and female flowers side by side, you can really see how different they are. There you can clearly see the male flower, which has those three hairs that stick out. And then if you flip to the female flower, you can see it looks like a vase. There's the female with the vase shape inside. And again, there's the male flower with the three fingers that kind of stick out of there. Male, female, male, female. So we have a few more 70 something degree days coming up all in a row with 55 degree nights. That is perfect for flower overlap. So I expect this to be fairly self fertile over the next few days. So I will be making darn sure to be out here with my mascara brush hand pollinating in the evening and in the morning so I can have the best chance to set fruit as uh, efficiently and effectively as possible. So there you go, everybody. I just wanted to take this time to show you both male and female flowers on an avocado tree at the same time. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you're curious about anything that I use in my garden, please check out my Amazon storefront in the video description. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again on the next video.